we got the happening spot here, boys. This set of butterfly bushes are loaded with bumblebees. Check them all out. This is the hangout. This is the gathering. That is so cool. Nature is amazing. Glasses, huh? What's going on, y'all? Chilling, chilling. So, in today's episode, we're gonna do something different. So, they make aftermarket body harnesses for the samurai, but because I'm not using a lot of the stuff off the Suzuki engine and the computer and what have you. I'm going to be installing my own, uh, you know, body harness slash engine harness. So now I'm faced with a few challenges. I want to show you guys how I overcame those challenges. So first challenge, okay, is we need an ignition switch. So we need to learn the color codes of these and what they do. And I'm going to show you how I went about doing this. So one of the many things that I need to identify, okay, is what these wires do in this ignition, ignition switch. And I'm going to show you how I go about doing this. Now, there's a few other things that we're going to need to do also as well. This is my headlight switch which is right here my hazard switch obviously your horn and then we've got our wiper assembly for the samurai and our blinkers and our high beam everything is in this you know steering column switch so yesterday i kind of cheated and i figured out what went where to simplify this video so I'm going to show you how I went about doing this. It's actually really easy. So first thing first, you're going to want to get yourself a multimeter. Once you get your multimeter, you're going to want to set it to the speaker. Now, I forget the technical name for it, but what it does is, is it lets you know when you've completed the circuit. So when you complete the circuit, it'll be solid, just like so. Okay. So now you have to have a little bit of common sense to figure these things out, right? So you've got a switch and you have one wire that's going to power essentially this switch to make you get your different options. So now, you know, for the key, you're going to have an accessory position, which means like if you want to sit with your radio on uh, without the truck running, you would put it on accessory. Obviously on is gonna be once the truck is started. And then you're gonna have start, okay? So you're gonna start the vehicle. So now again, for simplification of this video, I went and I figured out yesterday what wires go where, and I'm gonna show you how we do, you know, we can do that. So we're gonna put our noise maker on. Yes, it's gonna be annoying, okay? First thing we wanna check for is our start. Like we're going to start the start, you know, start the vehicle up. So white is my supplied 12 volts from the battery, which is going to be constant. Okay. Uh, black and yellow is going to go on. Our uh, red probe is going to go on black and yellow. Now you're going to listen. Ready? You hear that? That's our start wire. So meaning this black and yellow is gonna run all the way into the front of the truck underneath the engine you know, compartment. It's gonna go right to the starter. Noise maker. Now, now we know that black with a yellow stripe is gonna to run to our starter. Okay, so our next thing, what we need to figure out is 
Accessory. Accessory means when the key is on and the truck is not running. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it to accessory and only one is gonna work. So there's four wires here. We're using white as our, white has been determined, our 12 volt source. So we're gonna go to white and black, nothing. See how I'm plugging it in? We got nothing, okay? Now we're gonna go to our white with a black stripe and now it, now it works. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna turn the key off We've got nothing. Put it on accessory. Now we've got something. Put it on um, on run, and obviously we have something because it's the circuit is is now uh, closed. Okay. Now what we need to find out is what is going to be our 12 volts when the truck is running. So the only wire that I have left is going to be uh, white with a black stripe. So you turn your key on, we've got nothing on accessory. Now you go to start, you're on, and now you've got 12 volts. So that is gonna determine that when the truck is running, <clears throat> white with a black stripe is gonna work your, your radio, um, it'll work you know anything that requires 12 volts when the truck is running. So like a fan, um, it could be anything. Okay, let me shut this off. So now we figured out our, our, you know, key switch. Another thing you can do is, you know, back test yourself. Basically, you know, doing the same uh, procedure backwards and you can test the other wires and you'll see they won't interfere with one another. Again, I've done all the homework because I did this last night, just to keep the video simple. So now we're gonna get into a little bit complicated, you know, thing. We're gonna do this blinker switch, headlight switch, uh, hazard switch, and wiper switch, horn switch, all in one. And I determined what wires went where yesterday for the sake of keeping this a simple video. Fortunately for me, when Suzuki made this harness, they kind of bunched everything together. So for example, on the turn and the hazard, turn meaning left turn, right turn, it's gonna be this top, this top three group of wires. So here's how, how I figured it out. Okay, once again, just to keep things simple for the video, I know what colors go where. So we're gonna put black into our green, uh, with a gray stripe and our red in our green with a red stripe okay and that should work our left turn and that's our left turn so it doesn't work right it, it does not affect our headlights it doesn't affect our horn obviously because it's not grounded it's not affecting our wipers it's not affecting our uh, washer fluid but it will affect our hazard. See our hazards on? So now we're gonna go to, we're gonna keep the black in the uh, gray with the green stripe and we're gonna move our pin, excuse me, wrong one. We're gonna move our pin over. Now our right turn is gonna work. Our white right turn works, okay? Our headlight does not work, which is good. Our hazard is gonna work. Our wiper motor does not work. Our wiper washer motor does not work. And our high beam, low beam does not work. So now we just figured out what wire is gonna power our turn signal. Shut this off. Another thing you gotta keep in mind, every circuit on a vehicle is gonna have its own 12 volt power source because it's fused from the breaker panel, okay? So for example, you'll have a fused circuit that will feed your blower motor. You'll have a fused circuit that will feed your blinker switch. You'll have a fused circuit that will feed your radio and so on and so on, you get the picture. So that's how we're able to identify what goes where because each one of these functions in this turn signal 
is gonna have its own 12 volt power source fused from the breaker panel. Okay, so on to the next one. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our headlight. So our 12 volt source is gonna be yellow with a black stripe on it. So for our, um, for our normal low beam, it's gonna go into uh, yellow with a red stripe, which is gonna be on this pin, is it? Yes, yellow with a red stripe. Let me see if I can get this in here. This one was a little bit of a pain in the ass. Get our noise box on, okay? Now we're gonna turn our headlights on. See, that's our headlight. We're gonna shut it off. We're gonna test our blinkers. Nothing, Left, right turn, left turn, nothing. High beam, nothing. Hazard, nothing. Wiper motor, nothing. Washer fluid, nothing. Horn, obviously nothing. Now we're gonna go to our high beam. Our high beam is gonna be red with a white stripe. So we find our red with a white stripe, which is gonna be here, like so. And now our high beam is, uh, is off and our high beam is on. So now our, um, the, our headlight will not work. Our turn signal will not work. Right turn, left turn. Our hazard will not work. Our washer setup will not work. So, so there's obviously Captain Obvious here, which is going to be our horn, which is a uh, red with a yellow stripe. So we can eliminate out of the equation. So the only thing we've got left now is to, to determine our parking. You're going to have a, a left side and a right side, obviously, because you have right turn and left turn. So we're going to plug in our uh, white, solid white should be 12 volt. So we use our black lead. Okay. Jam this thing in here like so. And blue is going to be our parking. We're going to put our noise box back on. Now we have it off and now we have it on. So our green should work also. See, our green is working. So now that we've got our noise box on, we're gonna turn it off again and we're gonna test our blinkers. No right turn, no left turn, no high beam, no hazard, no washer. Uh, no washer motor, and then horn obviously isn't going to work. So I simplified this video because I wanted to just show you how I was able to determine what wire went where. I didn't want to make this an hour long video and bore the shit out of you guys, which is not cool. So again, I'm replacing the entire harness in the truck. I'm installing my own engine harness, my own body harness, and I'm using the Samurai um, accessories. I'm using, obviously you see now, I'm using uh, the original, you know, steering column accessories. I'm using the Samurai lock switch. I'm using the Samurai fuel sending unit and so on. And basically what I'm getting at is once you have the ability to identify what color wire goes where. You make yourself a list, you write it down, and you just saved yourself a whole lot of money because first of all, a wire harness from Gypsy in India, complete engine body harness is almost 400 bucks. That's out of control. Then you've got to buy the blinker switch because mine was trash. Then you got to buy the key switch, which mine was trashed, and you got to buy everything else along with it. So now you're talking like 600 bucks easy for your electrical components of your build. So we went down the road and we did something better. We bought us a eBay special $100 fuse panel. Um, it's generic. It can work on anything. 
And now we're gonna adapt all of the Suzuki uh, components into the generic cheapo $99 fuse box. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. I hope this video was informative. I know it's a little bit different from the norm, but it's a useful video. Anybody that has a multimeter that understands the concept of switches will be able to figure this out. It's not rocket science. You don't need to hire an electrical engineer to figure out how to wire your truck up. There's no reason for it. You know, once you learn the ability of how to use your tools, you can basically do anything. Guys, have a great day. I love you. I appreciate all the support. You guys rock. Thank you for all your new subscribers coming over to our channel and checking out our build. Be on the lookout for lots of other cool things. We got a lot of cool projects we're going to be doing. With that being said, have a great day and we'll talk to you on the next one.